Hey, I tried. <laughs> You're a short motherfucker. I'm not a tall man. In my heart, you are. <laughs> that's not physically. That's not gonna work. Physics disagrees with that place. <laughs> Better than physics. You think you have anything on me, physics? I took a physics class once and failed it. Is that what this poem's about? That's what all of my poems are about. <laughs> like, give me money for saying words, cause I don't know math. Um, yeah. Turn it out. You win! <laughs> Auntie motherfucking Mays. It's gonna be back. How you guys doing tonight? Woo! Don't bullshit me. It sounds like you guys have had a beer, had a PBR, and drank some water. How you guys doing tonight? Woo! Better. We'll work on it. Um, does any of you, do you guys know that they, they serve alcohols here? <laughs> does anybody have any alcohol in front of them? Yeah. Well, uh, how is that sexist? I might be a sexist, but that... I would like to propose a toast. If you want to raise your glasses. This is Jim Wiley for putting the show on. To Jeff Denny for hosting it. To Auntie Mays and all the lovely people who come out here to hang out, drink some beer, and listen to poems. We'll see you guys. Cheers. Cheers. Where's your book? To read. You're gonna recite. I do some poems. I'm gonna Wait. recite. <laughs> Standing at the head of the battlefield, I feel like a mountain top. My troops would barely dare climb. Knowing the things I have done, they do not respect me, but they fear me, and they listen. I think it's my glorious beard, the distinctive scar on my hand and my eyes, threatening as a painting that is always watching you. They call me the general. It's my job to scare the weak demons out of their bodies and replace them with something. Honestly, I never know what to say to a group of shivering boys about to taste combat for the first time, but all the gods of my profession climb through me and leap out of my mouth, the patron saints of suicide bombers, and they tend to leave an impression, standing in front of these kids, watching their fear curdle into frenzy. I can imagine the badges collecting on my uniform. I feel like the leader of the most feared military this dirt has ever felt march across it. Which is to say that sometimes, when I'm lucky, standing in front of these kids helps me forget that I'm just a 7th grade gym teacher. Yeah. I get paid $30,000 a year to watch a flock of fat kids run the mile faster than I ever could. Shit's depressing. And Woody Allen once said, those who can't do, teach. And those who can't teach, teach gym. Then again, Fuck Woody Allen. He probably never played dodgeball, never held the hopes of his fallen teammates in his trembling hands, never felt the hot rubber kiss his face like a drunk porn star. And I'm just a seventh grade gym teacher. My students call me the general. It's my job to make them sweat out everything they learn in all their other classes so they can come to know their own bodies, intimate as the hum of new machinery so they can learn themselves into weapons. I teach them the mathematics of the fight, the science of things with their feet. I teach them tech ed shit. I teach them poetry. And I also teach ballroom dancing. I like pairing the wimpiest boy in school with the only girl in class who has already reached puberty. I like to watch the little guy suffer. And I teach them the fundamentals of dodgeball. Like, if you spend too much of your time looking down, I promise you will be crowned with failure. If you are the first to fall, you are a sideline prayer bead for your teammates. And if you are picked last, 
That only means you have been given the opportunity to laugh that much harder when you finally win. Standing in front of these kids, watching their fear curdle into frenzy, I know exactly what awaits them. Heartbreak. Debt. So many failed job interviews that they actually consider becoming 7th grade gym teachers. And I know, I'm not sending these kids off to the killing fields, but sometimes I can't tell the difference. So I prepare them for battle. I give them Sunday, Sunday afternoons in the middle of the week. I give them something to believe in. The glory of an undefeated season. The virtue of grass stains and sweat. And the feeling of somebody up there must love me that comes like the breeze of a dodgeball past your face. And I'm just a seventh grade gym teacher. And my students, they call me the gym.